hello how's everybody doing welcome to my channel welcome to life with fritzy hi how are you doing i hope everybody's doing well i hope everybody's doing good um if let me stop um it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bells so you can get notification every time i post a new video so on that note let's get to this review today's video is the review on ozzy's fun house um yes the kid has fun yes it was it was a nice place for the kids um i can't say nice place but it was um an okay place ozzy's is not what it used to be back way back in the day um it has changed and not changed for the better um to be honest bluntly honest um, the kids did have a nice time. Um, they did have fun in the fun in the fun house and whatnot and all that stuff. But um, the experience that I had and uh, my daughter had and other parents that were bringing their kids there had the day was um, not so great. The only time we did had a good experience and that was by the lady. I can't. I don't know her name and I can't remember her name. But um, I wish I did so I can put her name in this video. Um, but uh, she was awesome. She was behind the gift shop, like the gift area where the where you get like the gifts from the arcade. And she was the, she the one she the one gives out the tickets, the bands, and all that stuff. So it was it was a good it was a good um it was she made my experience with the kids very nice. Um, towards the end of the night, she was the only employee that um stood out and gave the kids a handshake and said goodbye i hope you come back again have a great night see you soon everybody else was just rude disgusting and nasty my daughter wanted to take the kids there because she had a very wonderful experience when she was young i took her and had her 10th uh her 10th birthday party it was a barbie roller skating party and it was an awesome oh my god they treat you so nice Everybody there was was very into her birthday. They were very involved. We had a wonderful birthday party. We had pizza. We had the roller rink. We had the laser tag. We had everything. I bought a whole package for these kids. Um, very very nice. Um, I, we went. Now they still do have the same birthday packages, but it's not the same. Um, and for the money that you spend at this place, um, my advice is <laughs> not to spend it because. Um, they're rude. They're disrespectful. My bad review number one. Um, the I think one got overpriced, way overpriced. I could take my kids and, and my grandkids to a place that's much nicer, got much nice, much better things to do, a lot more things to do, and and it's better for them then you your packages and prices are ridiculous and there's not much like there's not a whole lot i see you can do for the prices that you're that you're charging the only good price i see is five dollars per person for the little fun house thing that the kids were in that's cheap and that's a good price for me number two um you need to um train your employees on how to treat people um they are rude disrespectful you ask them a question they don't want to help you um three when you walk in what do we say hi to you they just walk you pass on by like you know and you have to like chase them excuse me excuse me excuse me but they won't they won't um i noticed and i'm going to tell you this i don't know it, it, what's going on but i noticed it's more of like us people of color, um, Hispanics or whatever that it is of uh, American, white American people. Cause the, uh, the other two people, three people that were there with the families, they were white and you were like, they were like serving them on hand, like feel like, oh, what are you there? But when we had to come ask a question and they won't even answer us. We had a basic chase from that. Like I said, the only person that did help us that went out her way was a lady behind the, the gift desk. And I cannot, she was giving out bands and stuff, so I cannot remember her name. I don't know her name. But if anybody wants Ozzy's and the co-owner, owners, whatever, knows your co knows your, your employee and know her name, please she needs a medal. Please she needs she she needs to be manager. Because 
she did an awesome job the way she took care of everybody. Um, but the other employees, no. Um, they were rude. They were rude and disrespectful. They acted. They didn't want to help us. Like we, like we were nobody. They made us feel like you know. They made us feel very uncomfortable. Like we didn't belong. And I thought as this was a place that, um, that is for every family and it's a fun place. It's called Fun Center, so that all families can have fun and feel safe there. We didn't. We felt very uncomfortable. Like we didn't belong. Like it was just for a certain a class of elite people. When I mean elite, I mean I'm gonna be bluntly honest. I mean white. Because of color skin, we didn't belong. That's basically how we felt. Three. Your little restaurant pizza thing. Well, I had my own little experience. Okay. First of all, we went and ordered pizza. There was nobody at the, there was nobody behind the little restaurant thing behind the counter. So we were waiting and waiting and waiting for a while for somebody to come. So we went to the desk and said, hey, to the, to the young lady who's helping us, is there anybody, is the restaurant closed and nobody's there? Um, I see like stuff's on, but nobody's there. She was like, oh yeah. She's like, um, he, he probably went in the back. I'm going to get him for you. She went and got him and told him we were waiting to get, you know, we wanted to get some, some pizza, wanted to eat because the kids were hungry. Long and behold, he comes out with an attitude. He comes walking in, whizz by us. They say, hey, how you doing, man? Help you know. Goes behind the desk and like, um, yeah. Um, what, what, what? Can I help you? What do you want? What? So we're like, well, we want to order pizza. We got our kids. He wrote his eyes like, oh, well, how many pizzas? We were like, uh, one, <laughs> with, a, with a pitcher of soda, you know? And then he's like, oh, pitcher of juice. Um, he comes out, I was like, oh, okay, I'll get it for you. It's going to be so many amount of minutes or whatever. So we extra pitcher. He's like, oh, well, that's separate. I doesn't come with the pizza. Come on, if you're going to if you're gonna make a big old pizza, I think the least you can do is have a pitcher of soda or a combo soda with a pitcher of a juice or soda with a large pizza. And, you know, I'm like, okay, we'll pay the extra. You know, no big deal. And then, you know, he was like, okay, what's going to be that price? Snatches like the mice, you know, slamming the, the cash register. Go, we're like, okay, I don't know if he's having a bad day or what. So we just kind of like let it slide a little bit. And then, you know, we were eating whatever, you know, we were like, hey, babe. He was just looking at all wrong. We were we're about to leave. And, about you know, we're not about to leave, but like kind of packing up with the last pizza or whatever. So my daughter... Her boyfriend and the kids decided they want to go to the fun house. Um, back over to the fun house to, you know, finish playing. Finish, uh, because they weren't, we were going to leave. I thought I had to go to work. I had to go home. I had to work the next day. So we want, they wanted to play for another like 20 minutes or so. So it's just no problem. You know what I mean? So, but I said, go ahead because there was two pizzas left. I was charging my phone, trying to vlog a little video and, um, and wanted to, the pizzas I wanted to stay because it was still open. It, it was like only like 7 30 in a place. The the diner didn't close till like t nine because the the fun house on the Thursday got closed on at ten. Okay, so I sat there and I was, I was sat in there with my camera and I was trying to vlog and I was on my phone trying to charge my I was charging my computer and all that. I had my little setup at the table. Um, the guy, a young kid, I'm maybe seventeen, maybe eighteen, maybe he was young. Um, came from around the 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 little cooking area and started shoving chairs um started like cleaning out the tables which are okay you clean out the tables um that's your job you know what i mean um clean the tables looking at me rolling his eyes slamming chairs slamming the chairs on top of the on top of the table um slamming like the oven door whatever behind the kitchen i'm like okay so me, um, me, I was like, okay. So let me ask him if I'm wrong. You know, are they closing like at seven thirty or eight o'clock? The baby, I'm staying here. I don't want to be in a in nobody's space. You know, they have to close it. You know, what I mean, I'll be respectful and I go. And I asked him. I said, "Excuse me." Um, I said, "Am I in the way? Am I bothering? You know, anything?" Um. If you what time these close? Because if you close earlier, I I leave. You know, what I mean, I go out, and um, and, and I'll just sit out there, or I'll sit in my car, or whatever. My pizza. He was like, just like that. I was like, 
Is this, is it is there a problem? And he said, well, we do close like around nine, but since like, oh, nobody here, you know, I'm trying to clean up and, you know, trying to get this organized. I'm like, am I in your way? And he said, um, well, and I said, well, let's be honest and let's be clear. Um, if you want somebody to leave, you don't slam things and be rude and disrespectful because that's what you're doing. Three, you, you close at nine, it's nine o'clock and it's only seven. It's not even seven thirty yet. And I'm eating my two pieces and you're slamming the thing like you want me to leave. And he was like, he just rolled his eyes. It was like, and kept cleaning the table, like, you know, rude. And I said, um, I said, I'm going to make a report about this because you're like a third, fourth person. You have no respect. You're very rude and disrespectful. And I'm, I mean, it ain't like we stole the pizza. We paid for it. And I would like to sit in my pizza without feeling uncomfortable that I'm in somebody's way because you're slamming chairs and tables and stuff. And he was like, well, I was just trying to clean up. I said, I understand you're trying to clean up, but you know what I mean? Like you're, you're being rude about it. And you're, and, and you're looking at me with a bad mean, like, mean look, like if, uh, like if I'm taking money out your pocket and he's, I, I said, I work like everybody else and we're in here like anybody else. So I didn't really want to get into too much with him, but he really took me off to the point where I was just like, you know, I was about to lose my cool. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. He said, um, then when I walked, you know, I walked away. He goes, oh, well, that would be your best bet. And I said, no, it'll be your best bet that I let it go because if I continue, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like. It. I said, I'm not a punk. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a punk. I'm not no ghetto person on the street. I will check you, and I will check you quick, little boy. I will check you quick. I'm old. I said, I got drawers older than you. I got bras older than you. Okay, so you will not check me. I'm a grandma and a mom, and now you nobody will check me. I didn't say that. I said, well, the way you said that's your best bet. Like you go, I want you to check me, but I'm gonna walk away and be respectful and walk away, even though you're rude, and somebody to check you in your job. I was upset. I was done. I was just like stick a fork in me. I was done. 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 I was done with the place. They're, they're, they're disrespectful. They're rude. Four. I'm a four. There's four reasons. I'm a four. Um, we go. I go down. We go. I go down to at the play center. I go down and I see that my son-in-law, my daughter, is upset about something. I said, "What was about? What you know? What's the matter?" So we see this other this other gentleman, kid, breaking there, yelling at another kid that was in the little jungle gym thing. And I'm like, why is he yelling at And about when he said, oh, you can't go out, you can't go in, you're on time out, you guys said. So I'm thinking, oh, you should remember, it's probably like his little brother or family member that, that he came to work and he said he want to bring him with. So he probably did something wrong, so we put him on time out. So then um, we overheard him talking with another staff member. So um, so we're like, oh, okay, it probably was a little kid, whatever. Because we thought, we, you know, at first we're like, okay, he's yelling at somebody else's kid. But she's yelling at somebody's kid, yelling really rudely, yelling at him in his face like like he was nobody. Like he didn't have no parents. So we're like, what? But we thought, okay, maybe it's his little brother or something. We, we can't get into that. We kind of find out, no. It was because little kid, I guess, was there with his parents. That There's another part where they're play, they playing softball and stuff on the other end. And so the little boy must have came over. He saw other kids playing. He was like maybe five, maybe um, five or six. Came over to play with the other little kids, but he didn't have a band to in the jungle gym. So he had pulled the kid by the arm, was sitting there and telling you to sit out and you get up in there and all. Hold up, hold up. That's when I said, oh, hold up. First of all, that's not your kid. You're not reprimanding nobody else's kid. I understand if he went in and he slipped in there and didn't have a band. All your your responsibility as a staff member is to be like, listen. Uh, where's your parents? Do you know where your parents at? Who are you here with? You know, cause you're not allowed in here, honey, without a band. That was that was a proper way to do it. And and you could and he couldn't tell you don't know where that you could on the loudspeaker, like you have a loudspeaker here and start calling for the parents. Like what? I wish somebody would do it to my kids or my grandkids because you know, I put my foot up your behind. You're not gonna like it. Off the top of everything that was going on, then you I see you like talking to somebody else's kid wrong. And then after he did fight the parents, he was like, oh, you know, I had him sitting around. No, tell the truth. You were sitting there, pulled him out his arm, you yelled at him, you were treating him like crap, making him feel like crap like in front of everybody. And, 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 and put him on his arm like that was your kid. It's not your kid. You're not supposed to do that. So the parent looked at him, was like, took his kid, took his bag, was like, you know, I'm not coming back here. 
He don't touch my kid, though. You know, he was just looked at me. He was like, oh, wait, there, there's rules. Yes, there's rules. But there's also ways of handling those things. And you're sitting there with a snotty, with a snot nose, you know, sitting there looking at everybody all wrong and walking around with a bad attitude. Like, ain't my problem. That you don't like this, I'll get another job. But you're going to sit there, treat, treat, we, we pay money to be here. We don't get paid money for our family to come here for y'all treat them like, like they're trash. Or like we're trash. This is our money. You know what I mean? They're paying y'all to work here. That That's just crazy to me. I said, I grabbed the grandkids, grabbed my daughter, grabbed my other daughter, my son, like, let's go, we out of here. I'm not even dealing with this anymore. Put the kids' shoes on, we're gone. I don't eat. When you spend, when you spend my money to come here no more, that's how mad I was. At the end of the day, um, my all-in-all -all review of... Um, Ozzy's Fun Center is a zero. Zero nada niche. It went downhill. Your company, your facility went downhill. Um, it's not worth the money. It's not worth the money. The service that we get, the service that you provide, the, the rudeness, the disrespectfulness. If I want to do that, we'll stay down the hood in the city. And we get get treated man half of my cussing me if I want to get cussed out and get treated wrong. You know what I mean? Like you're you're wrong. Y'all all wrong. Um your your facility is trash. The bathrooms are not well kept. Okay, the bathrooms are, are, are not the greatest. They're they're dirty. Nobody's keeping up with that. Okay? That's not that's that's number five. And you're building something on top of that, which is uh, to me, it's trash. You're spending, you're wasting this money for what? You're, you're asking my people all this money for what? It's trash. You get treated like trash, especially if you're of color. You get treated like trash, and I think it's a zero. I think it's a zilch. I think it's, it's just wrong. It's just trash. I won't spend my money to go there. Things I should think. Um, what should be done? My advice would be to retrain your staff. Retrain your employees on how, um, what is customer service, what is, um, what is having humanity, having respect, having morals, um, following policy. I think you're, you need to re retrain your staff, really retrain your staff. They don't know what it is to treat somebody right. Um, what I think you do, I think you need to have some... Because uh, what I see is a lot of teenagers, a lot of young kids running that place. And they run it to the ground. So what I think my advice is, we'll get some older people in there to work. People who are our age, who are uh, more mature and responsible. People who know what customer service, know what it is to treat families, know what it is to keep a fun center a fun center. For families and keep it fun and keep your your income coming in and keep people wanting to keep coming back because it's an awesome place my thoughts so on that note that's my little that's my little review on Ozzy's Fun Center um, it's a zero for, for me I think you need you you need you need to get up on that you really do need to get up on treating you really need to get up on learning how customer service because nobody knows what they're talking about. Nobody knows what they're doing in there. And they're treating everybody messed up. I don't pay my money. I don't work. And and, and my family don't work. My daughter don't work her butt off to give her family a nice time. And you get shit messed up. Um, my advice to anybody who's going there now, save your money. Go over to um, to the works on Reading. Um, go over to the works. Spend your money over there. You know, you get better treat. You can treat it better. The 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 people are well organized. They're they're willing to help you out. They're willing to do everything they can. They have more stuff to do. They have go kart. They have all kinds of stuff there. Um, it's it's a better place and a better environment. Better food. Better everything there. Other than Ozzy's Fun Center, it's it's not a good place. Um, do I think you should get shut down? No. I don't think I don't I don't want it to get shut down because Reading is a, is a city. It's one rated one of the one of the poorest cities in the in the in the country and one one of the most dangerous cities in the country. Um, from what's labeled, it could have changed by now. I don't see it as dangerous as it was before, but um, it it it's 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 not a bad ranking. It's not a good ranking in that city, and the kids there don't have many places to go to anyway. 
they don't have many places to go to many places to have fun at or anything it's you know what i mean they don't have nowhere to go so i think they should remain open but you need to reconstruct the whole building from the employees the staff to the people running it to management to fixing up the place it needs it needs a may it needs it needs a major 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 facelift all the way around so i don't think they should shut them down i think that you need to retrain your employees or get new employees and refresh that the, the facility make it much nicer make it a more pleasurable a more nicer experience for families for children for everybody so they can keep coming back and keep having fun so they're ready to have another another positive place for kids to go to because right now there's not many places in reading where kids can go to and have fun no more uh, uh not better positive places for the kids to go so i think um you need to also retrain people how to treat people n fairly no matter what color you are not to be a racist um i think you you'll 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 see more revenue when you do that um right now it's trash and i wouldn't go then i won't pay a dime no more to go there so um yeah so i i think you, you need to do major major facelift on that note that's my review on ozzy's fun center i'm sorry ozzy I'm sorry, Ozzy's Fun House. I'm sorry I had to do this, but um, I had to. I was I was vlogging there to do a good review on it because of my past experience. But when I went there, I was surprised and shocked at what I seen. And I'm sorry, I have to give you a bad review. And I that's my review on Ozzy's Fun Center. So if you like this video, like what I say. What if you ever been to Ozzy's Fun Center or any Ozzy's Fun Center? Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this video, or if you haven't, just let me think. Let me know what you think of my review on Ozzy's Fun Center. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash that notification bell to get notifications. Hello, life for free. Post a new video. On that note, I gotta let you go. This video is long enough. I'll talk to you later. I love you guys. Have an awesome, 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 awesome day. Awesome night, and until then, I gotta go. Remember, every day above ground is a great day. Remember, you're blessed to be here. On that note, I check you out on my next vlog or next review. You never know where I'm gonna be going next, right? So I love you guys. See you later. On that note, love, peace, and a bottle head, green stuff and best. Love you.